This week's feast. Mm. What are you doing? I'm getting ready for the party. The capital has very extreme standards for style, so I gotta look good. Did you really bring hairspray into the kitchen? Hell yeah, it's I did. Flammable. It shouldn't be around food. Oh, are you saying I might catch fire? This week's feast is the Hunger Games catching fire. <laughs> <laughs> That's where it belongs. So today we're making duck larange. It's a traditional French dish. And Katniss gets to eat it in the Hunger Games Catching Fire at one of the capital feasts. Duck is a luxury meat that probably the poorer districts wouldn't have been able to afford. So to cook in true capital style, I went ahead and got us a full duck right here. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow. He's a beaut, or it could be a she. Where did you get him? Chinatown. Chinatown. Yeah. All right. Um, so if you don't have Chinatown nearby you, you can go to Trader Joe's or Whole Foods. That's right. Especially around the holidays, they have um, this duck. type of poultry. <laughs> yeah, they got duck. Well, there are two parts to this feast. One is this piece of meat. That sounded so bad. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I just can't get over this piece of meat. Well, the fact that the head is still just hanging out. Oh my is... gosh, and look at its little flippers. I know. It has talons. It's legit. We are grossing out all of our vegetarian fans right now. I know, right? The people are like, hey, we want a vegan Sorry. feast at some point. <laughs> Sorry, this is not the one. Oh my goodness. Uh, anyway, this feast is comprised of two parts. One is the duck, and the second is the sauce. So while I carve this sucker up, actually, it's gonna get on making that orange sauce. Preparing the orange sauce is simple. Use a knife to peel the orange, just taking the top layer of the skin off, not the white part, and then juice the rest of the oranges into a separate bowl. Now it's time to cut that duck up. Ugh, this is gross and disgusting. So we'll just skip most of that in. Oh, hey look, it's done. So now we're gonna make the orange sauce. I have fresh squeezed orange juice and orange peels. But first we're gonna start with red wine vinegar and sugar, combining it on a medium heat until it caramelizes. Get this stove going. Waha, catching fire. And this might take a little while, so you're gonna to wanna to boil it, essentially. So just crank that heat and keep on stirring. The one thing you don't want to happen is to have it stick to the bottom, because one, it's gonna be sucky to clean, it's also gonna just taste bad. <laughs> so we're gonna keep whisking with the good old rainbow whisk back in action until it turns a caramel brown color. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna take it off the heat and do the next step. So while this concoction boils, you'll notice that it turns from purple into a dark brown. Just keep stirring the whole way through to make sure it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. Remove it from the heat, and the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is add in half of your chicken stock. Careful. There you go. You're gonna get a lot of steam, but just keep stirring. Bring that sucker back up to a simmer and add in your orange juice and the rest of your chicken stock. In another container, what you're gonna to wanna to do is take some cornstarch or arrowroot and some quartz wine and combine it together. And what this is gonna do is make the sauce way thicker. Just stir it all up. Mm, look at this, it makes a nice little paste. All right, once it's brought back to a simmer, just go ahead and add your cornstarch mixture in. Stir that sucker up. Go ahead and just... Make it rain orange make peels. Make it rain orange peels in this thing. <laughs> <laughs> so the last step is to bring the sauce to a boil so it can reduce to the creamiest sauce possible. Yummy, yum, yum. Ooh, and here it goes. Here it goes. All right. So in the meantime, we're gonna transfer this to another stove and bring on the duck. And set these to a medium heat and you just wanna just put these guys uh, skin side down. You don't necessarily need oil, just give me a dash. And you're gonna want to let it cook for about 10 to 12 minutes. So just chill on out and wait for these birds to cook. Really cool time-lapse photography. Whoa, it's like Breaking Bad, but for cooking. Ooh, not bad. Oh man, this part of the book gets so intense. It so is. Like, it's pretty cool that we can listen to it in the kitchen too, you know? It's like best of both worlds. Cook, learn at the same time. Does that duck smell funny? I wonder if we left the hairs on there. Jimmy? Yeah? Hair. Yeah, <laughs> thanks for reminding me. Gotta get some more of this baby on there. Boosh! <laughs> Oof. 
close call. Very close call. Thank you, Ashley. Okay, guys, don't cook with hairspray. Just don't do it. Uh, don't cook with flammable Thank materials you. at all. <laughs> Uh, but do listen to books. Audible.com is helping out Feast of Fiction right now. If you guys check out the link right below, you can actually go download one of 100,000 titles. That's a lot of titles. That's cool. Yeah. And you can actually listen to The Hunger Games while you cook food. So what we're doing, it, it exists in real life. It's a thing. Imagine that. It's the cooking of the future. Anyway, check out the link below. Again, audible.com slash Feast of Fiction. Let's get back to this duck, by the way. Transition to the duck cooking. Look how good it looks. That's some good looking duck. Now that these birds have been cooking, it's time to flip them over. Ooh, look at that. Looks delicious. Crispy skin up top. And here's the thing it doesn't have to cook for very long at all on this side. And you can actually have your duck a little rare too. So if you like it rare, just let it just sit or just sear just a little bit and then take it off. But you can actually see if you look closely the meat cooking. Get too close, though. Once that duck is finished, make sure you just take a napkin or a towel and dab off any of the extra duck fat on top of it. Knock off a couple garnishing elementos. Those cute little things on the side, you know? Good color, right? What is it? Parsley. Parsley. <laughs> Rosemary, parsley, garnish and sage. Elementos. Is that garnish elementos? <laughs> anyway, yes. Now that our sauce is also ready, we're gonna bring it over here. And Ashley, if you do the honors, you just drizzle it just a little bit on top. That guy in town. And there you have it. Duck l'orange. Fit for a champion of the arena. Or just really wealthy people. Actually, this is affordable. You could totally do this on the budget. Totally. Yeah, and it's super festive, so, oh yeah. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. Hope you guys are having a merry time at home with family and friends. Ashley and I are having a merry time eating some duck. Cheers. Cheers. To the Hunger Games. To the Hunger Games and to... our first feast back. That's right, guys. Cheers. Mm. Is this your first time having duck? Mm-hmm. Welcome to the club. Tastes like chicken. We're totally dining at the Capitol right mm -hmm. now. It Minus sucks. the hairspray. Minus the hairspray, right. It sucks that we have to just go kill other teenagers now. That's what's expected of us, mm. right? You get to eat really well and then adolescent murder up the wazoo. Sounds like a proper feast of fiction to me. Well, you already murdered a duck, so. Mm hmm. You're on the right track. <laughs> That's right. All right, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next week, we promise, with a brand new feast. Thanks for watching, everybody. Make sure you click subscribe and share this video with your friends. And of course, go to audible.com slash feastoffiction to help support the show. Also, if you click last week's feast, you'll find out exactly where we've been and what we've been up to in this eight-month hiatus.